Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello there, my name is Tammy. Welcome, please stick around. I do videos on makeup, as you're gonna see how I create this to look today. And I also do make videos on hair, lifestyle vlogs, chit chat talk type of videos where we encourage each other and talk about things that would help us grow. I also do a little bit of videos on how to do YouTube better, either on your phone or in, on your laptop. So if you like any of these topics and it interests you, please stick around and also subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified when next I upload a video. Thank you so much again for stopping by. So yeah, let's get into today's video. <music> Let's get into today's video because I'm just so happy, so happy and so excited to film and record anything really in front of a camera. I haven't done this in a while and I've missed it so much. I've missed you guys. I've missed this. And I'm really trying to be consistent and maybe pushing out more content. So today's video is going to be about Valentine's Day look. A simp as you already kind of read it read it in the description anyways but it's about a valent it's valentine's day is february 14th we all know this it's the month of february plus it's the month i was born so yeah well i'm not going to be doing the typical red look i'm going to be doing a simple soft glam type of look i don't know what i'm coming up with i honestly don't know yet but i'm hoping that it would be suitable for a valentine's day look so please stick around and enjoy the rest of the video. Also, I'll be talking a little bit about what I like, but what is your purpose in life? Do you know what your purpose in life is? I'm still figuring mine out as, I, as I'm speaking to you guys. I'm still figuring it out, but that's kind of what I want us to talk about and discuss in the comment section below. Let me know what you if you know what your purpose in life is. If you do, awesome. If you don't, that's what this video is about. I'm going to be sharing a couple of tips of how you can try to find out what your purpose in life is. And with that being said, I'm going to get started with also my makeup look, you know, so hopefully this won't be too long either. I have not prepped my face at all. So I'm going to start first with water. I spray my face. Mm. That feels really nice. Oh, it feels really, really nice and refreshing. I love that. Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist, along with the water. You always start with water, then you seal everything in with all the products. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. I'm gonna put these eye serums on my eye. I'm gonna be using the Dr. Brandt no more needle no more baggage under my eye these are cold i just got them out of the refrigerator like i said before i've been using this product for a while now actually i've been using it so much that it's already i'm already running out i got it in one of my fat fit fun boxes and i've been using it since the first time i used it, it gave me about like a tingling feeling but i guess my skin got used to it because i do have kind of a sensitive skin but it doesn't do that anymore now i'm gonna be mixing the volume defense deep wrinkle serum but actually what i usually use this on or use this for is smile line right now i don't really have a very um defined smile line but i used to for some reason i don't know maybe it is working i don't know but i like using it I didn't pay for it not to use it so i'm gonna be using it so I, what i do is i just squeeze it on a little bit like so okay and then I just rub it in only on this side of, of my face I don't use it anywhere else because I'm still gonna be using another moisturizer I do have a moisturizer a Tula moisturizer but I don't I don't use that because I like the Kate Somerville moisturizer which is why I'm using that in this video today all right you guys see a little bit of white cast here but it's gonna go away now I'm going to use the Kate Somerville moisturizer the goat milk moisturizer I use just not too much a little bit it feels like milk actually it really does you guys ever had like raw milk or kind of had a feel of what milk when it's curding you know that's kind of what it feels like so I rub it in my face because all this other product already got into my skin I don't mind rubbing it over it 
Sometimes I spray my face with water again, which I will, even though I haven't rub it in, just to give a little extra moisture. I usually would get my neck too, because your neck needs to be moisturized as well. <laughs> so this is usually my facial prep before I put my makeup on. My face feels nice and tacky. I could just apply my foundation and continue like this, but I'm gonna do one more step of layer of primer. I'm gonna be using the Rhode Isle um, Eliminating Ultimate Glow Primer. I love this thing. It's fe it feels really nice to the skin. <laughs> So now that I'm done with applying the primer, I'm going to get started with my powder. And before doing that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what is your purpose in life? Do you know what your purpose is in life? You know, some of us, our, our purpose or our passion in life, we already know. You know, it's obvious, it's clear, we, it's like you just get it. And But the rest of us, it takes us time. You know, we are all born with some sort of talent. We all are, every single one of us are. We're born with a talent and because some of us are aware of our talent ahead of time, we kind of work on it and then just get, we kind of know where, where to go in life. But those that don't, you know, you find what your talent is, practice, 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 and you know, turn it into a skill set of some sort and become really good at it. You may enjoy what you do and you know, you kind of, go deeper into exploring what that talent is or what that purpose and passion is. And you just kind of, you can even turn it into a business and just blow up from that. So for me, I'm just gonna kind of give us a couple of tips or ideas or thoughts on how to know what your purpose or passion is in life. And hopefully somebody out there, you know, pick a thing or two that'll be useful to you on finding what your purpose is in life. I'm gonna start with my, my powder, like I said. And that will be my, okay, so this is the Translucent Powder by Ciate and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I mixed it together in here and that's what I'm gonna put underneath my foundation so that it can set and and uh, it will last longer. Yeah, I think it's pronounced Ciate, I don't know, or Kayate, I don't know. But it's Extraordinary Translucent Powder by C-I-A-T-E with an accent on the top. I love this powder because it's so soft and so fine. I like it very much. So I like to um, mix it with my Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. And it gives a really nice blend. And so, first thing that I would like to talk about regarding, you know, maybe how, how we can help finding your life's passion is to explore things that you love to do. You know, what comes to you easy? What is it you like, what is it that you like to do that comes to you very easily and you enjoy doing it? That's like one of the first things that I would suggest or think that if I were to try to think of what my life purpose is, then I need to do something that I love to do that comes easily for me that I can, some people like to talk. They are talkers. They can, they can talk from morning to night and people would love to hear them talk. That's, that's their life purpose to be talking. But in order to be talking, you need to know how, you know, you're going to express what you're going to say. Is it going to in, inspire people, encourage people, or is it going to, you know, bring them down? So, that's, that's the kind of thing you have to think about, you know, in regards to what your purpose is in life. Um, do you like to do makeup? Do you like to do artwork? Are you into pottery? Are you into graphic design, interior designing? What is it that you love to do that brings you joy when you do it, as opposed to, you know, whatever is opposite of joy? So. That is the first idea of what I think would help you figure out what your purpose is or passion is in life. Will you keep quiet? I'm sorry for the noise my son is making with his mouth. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Dewy Smooth 
uh, foundation fit me normal to dry in the shade 360 that's always been my shade I have it in both the dewy smooth foundation as well as the matte poreless foundation but because I'm kind of going for a soft Valentine's Day look I'm just gonna use this Maybelline the dewy smooth one I like it better than the matte poreless one the matte poreless one I use mostly in the summer and then the dewy smooth I use in the winter to kind of keep the moisture go you know to keep me moisturized because in the summer I get a bit more sweaty so my face gets a little bit more oily so I try to use the matte poreless one but I mean I've heard that you could use dewy smooth one but for me it's kind of worked out well for me to just use the matte poreless one in the summer and the dewy smooth one in the winter and the powder that I use already kind of give me a good amount of coverage if I were to do a no makeup makeup look this is all I would stop at and just do my eyebrow eyebrows and a little bit of eyeliner and be gone and be done with it I think that would be you know doable first I'm gonna put it on a small little container thingy here and then apply it on my face I'm gonna be using this brush to apply it I feel like the powder that I put gives a bit of a coverage and then adding the foundation gives a much better coverage so what I do is I just sort of add it like so and then I blend it in with a brush so I've kind of covered my major problem areas which are mostly down here even right here and once I cover that I'm good to go to just go all, right, all over with my foundation brush so far my favorite foundation brush is this elf brush Wow if you guys hear my stomach it's because I'm hungry I haven't eaten I've only had oatmeal today just gonna dab onto it a little first and then go into with my face so as I was saying regarding um, what your life purpose is for me I love to sing I love to put makeup on I even I just realized that I love editing I love editing and I love filmmaking or at least content creating on YouTube which is something that I just discovered I really enjoy it thinking and brainstorming thinking of what I could put up do around around what I love to do which is doing makeup I already love doing makeup I already like to do skincare stuff so when I started doing this and I realized I also like filmmaking and editing and recording and figuring out things and that would work I worked on and I kept practicing on developing those skills um, as far as the singing part I'm still working on that <laughs> so I can't even say that I'm, I'm like a professional or anything I just like to sing I just love it I love God and I love you know just expressing what talent he's um, blessed me with by singing and using the gift he's given me you know what I mean I'm gonna be using my Juvia's place in the shade 9 I think it's 9 or 6 so I'm gonna go with 9 because all the words are readable in the nine, number 9 it's this way so yeah my Juvia's place concealer <laughs> and like I was saying about purpose um, for me I feel like if you try to create like some type of you know how everyone has a motto you know what they live by I guess in a way so I would think like you as a person should have what your expression of life is what do you live by what is your motto for me not necessarily a motto but like more like what are the qualities of something that you would like for others to express and if you're expressing it how is it how is it impacting others life for me love and peace those are the two main thing that I love to express on my character or whatever it is about me to that would encourage people to be more loving to be more caring to show more kindness which also brings peace into our lives with that being said how do you express love and peace for me I have like a motto that I came up with of just thinking about what I'm gonna talk about to you guys and I'm just gonna read it so that I don't forget it's pretty much inspiring and empowering others by stirring up their innate passion to cultivate love and peace in the world I don't know it just came up with to me as far as you know what I think could be a, a mission statement or a statement that I can live by you know being able to 
bring about what they're passionate about. In turn, it brings out love and peace into their lives, into the people's lives that they are touching. That's kind of how I look at it. Um, as far as you know, what your purpose is in life, it's not about material things. I don't know why it just came to me right now. It, it, some people might feel like, oh, my purpose is to have cars and houses. Yes, we, those are good things, but those are material things. But the impact you make in someone's life should be your purpose for you to live for. So if you're passionate about basketball or you're passionate about pottery, how is that bringing some type of positive um, light into someone else's life or even, even your life? Because you have to be passionate about it. You have to be happy about doing it in order for it to be impactful. I'm gonna blend in my, my uh, concealer now. Now I'm going to use my contour. I love this Aesthetica contour series. I was so glad to have received this in a subscription box because I think the retail price for this is over $50, but I got it for free. But I think you can also get it on Groupon when it goes on sale for maybe 30 to 40, maybe $20 or 20 something dollars. But I'm so glad I got this and it's been a game changer in my makeup application. So I'm gonna be contouring right now. Another thing that I wanna talk about regarding um, life purpose, what you, you know, if you're still trying to figure out what your life purpose is, is trying to figure it out is a good thing don't be too hard on yourself if you haven't figured it out yet especially if you're still young but as you're trying to figure it out be clear oh that's too much be clear as to what it is your goal is like what is it as far as if you're trying to figure out what your purpose is you have to be clear because if you're not clear, then it will still be confusing and it will still not make any sense to you. So you have to be clear about what you're, you know, what you're trying to focus on as far as your life, your life goals are in order to Mommy. know what your purpose is. Mommy. Hmm? Okay, so I had to take a short, quick break, feed my son, get him back together, and uh, he's taking a nap now so I can hopefully quickly finish this video it's taking way longer than it needs to be but as I was saying it's talking about staying focused being clear and focused on what it is that you want and thinking about what it is that you know would get you to that goal um, I would also suggest suggest that you know continuing to like think about it you know research about it trying to figure out how to do whatever it is better in order to achieve it you are most likely going to subconsciously subconsciously come up with something that will get you there you know you just have to keep focused on it don't give up on it it's kind of like having a dream you know don't give up on it now just I will say that you know once you find out what it is that is your purpose that you you know that you feel is your passion I would suggest not to jump so much so quickly into it and that it kind of gets overwhelming but I will say that at least taking it step at a, t a step at a time once you find out what it is that you are passionate about doing it one step at a time bit by bit you know what I mean leaning into it slowly but surely but while you're still focused on it because you're still learning and trying to make sure this if this is really what you know you're passionate about or if this is really what your purpose is so I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick like I always use the same old same old eyebrow stuff which is my unbelievable L'Oreal eyebrow gel I do my eyebrows myself as far as shaping it it's worked out for me so far and I continue to do so because I've had some sad experiences before like years ago so I just learned how to do it myself and continue doing it myself Hey, that's it for my eyebrows and first I'm going to start with my makeup base eyeshadow base I'm not really really sure which green I'm gonna do because I want to go with the color of my scarf and I'm gonna be trying you see looking into the 
Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place and the Magic Mini. I'm gonna start with the Magic Mini. I'm gonna start with this dark color here. It's like a very dark green. Okay, let's go on to the next shade. This might be faster than I thought. I'm thinking of going in with Mali. Yeah, the Mali green in Masquerade Mini. Mali. That's perfect. Just gonna add a little bit more eyeshadow base for that section of my eye. And the pink shade that I think I wanna go with, I'm gonna go with Bori from the Masquerade Mini here. There's another one in here, but it's Kogi. I wanna go with more of a fuchsia pink. Wow. Let's see how that works. Okay. <laughs> gonna go in this brown here just to kind of blend up here a little bit and that's in Fulani so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bit of a shimmer a little bit more shimmer like I did right here I'm gonna add it to right here and that's Zumba Zumba it's like a pink but very shimmery pink I'm just gonna add it right in between there and then um kind of blend it into the green what shade is that into buzo into and back into the fuchsia which is ori all right now i'm gonna clean up corners of my eyes here i like this look it's bold it's bold for me anyway so now i'm gonna put on some liner and mascara all right, so I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liner. So while I wait for my lashes to, to kind of get tacky, I'm going to just let you know what I'm going to be using on my lips. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. matte lip color lipstick, I guess. And then I'm going to line my lips again, you know, with my usual lip liner. Okay, I got this also from Walgreens when I picked up the Milani lip moisturizer. But I got this lip gloss. It's a perfect tone lip gloss by Black Radiance. Um, I'm not sure what shade this is because they have numbers on it. So this is the shade 5110. Some of them have names written on it. Some of them, when you before you take apart the wrapping, the shade would be written on the wrapping thing and then the packaging. But then you're not gonna be carrying packaging all around. So I don't remember the name of this shade, but this is the gloss I'm gonna be putting over this lipstick and I'm gonna be using this lip liner for it. So that's the shade. This shade is, oh, it's Praline. It's one of my favorite lip color. This is matte, but I'll be putting lip gloss over it. That's the thing about matte lip colors. They bring, about, bring out the dryness of your lips, even though I moisturized. And it smells really good, it smells it smells like candy of some sort, like cotton candy. That wasn't too bad. Okay, mascara again, another coat under my eye. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I usually don't care for my brush lately. I haven't really been caring for blush, but I think I'll do a little bit of blush just for the video. <laughs> and that's my e.l.f. It's in brick red. And highlight. I don't think I need more highlights, but yeah, Can't, I love my highlights in specific in specific places though not just anywhere or everywhere for my highlight i'm going with my handy dandy <laughs> my handy dandy my go-to trusted aoa studio perfect pressed highlighter <laughs> I don't know why I never finish. I never finish my makeup looks with this, but I I use it so much I'm almost running out. It's the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. 
Oh yeah. That's great. Okay, so this is it for my face and I hope that you guys like this look as much as I do. I actually really love this look. It turned out it turned out good. It was a bit shaky at first. At first I was not sure, but I like it. It has the hint of pink in it and the smoky eye look. That's what I was thinking of, smoky eye look. The lips is subtle, it's not too loud. You know, it gives like a nice romantic vibe to it with a little bit of boldness in the eyes. I hope you guys like this video. I hope this video teaches you or helps you to learn to start living your purpose a little bit more fully each day, one step at a time. You know, if you are still trying to figure out what your passion and your purpose are, just take your time think about what it is listen to other people's feedbacks and whatever it is you're doing if you're getting positive feedback back then you know that could be something that you're purposeful for and if not then try to explore something else see where you know it takes you it takes you remember to like this video and also stay subscribed turning on the bell notification so you'll be notified of when next i upload a new video thank you again so much for watching this video remember to always be thankful and i will see you on my next one bye bye i love this powder because it's so so soft and so fine so